Hi everybody, today I'm going to be giving you a live demonstration of a crystal body layout that is featured in my book, Rock On! The Crystal Healing Handbook for Spiritual Rebels. My book includes 40 custom crystal layouts for all kinds of healing scenarios from anything from menopause to back pain to ADHD. There's the back pain one actually. Whoop, there it is. Um, and it's a really comprehensive how-to on how to perform all the crystal body layouts that I've worked with in my 14 year crystal healing career. But today I'm going to be showing you my favorite crystal body layout for sleep. So sit back and enjoy this live demonstration. To perform this layout, you're going to need a few specific crystals. So you're going to need a smoky quartz stone, which is a beautiful um, stone that is not only very calming and helps us face our fears in a, in a safe way, but it's also very cleansing and grounding too, which is why we're going to use this as our grounding stone. You're also going to need a piece of selenite, which is fantastic for sleep because it helps um, deter any negative entities and it helps ward off any bad dreams. Um, it's also a very calming and aligning stone. And we'll also be using rainbow moonstone, but if you don't have rainbow moonstone, then any white or peachy colored moonstone is going to be fine. Moonstone being a stone for sleep, the moon, circadian rhythms, calming the mind. It's a very peaceful stone. And we're also going to be working with sodalite, which is a really calming stone. It's very peaceful. While moonstone is a bit more um, feminine in its energy, sodalite is a little bit more, more masculine in its energies. It really helps um, release and relieve anxiety, stress, tension in the mind. It helps with migraines and headaches. And it's also a really purifying stone as well. So this one's going to be a great one to help us sleep peacefully at night time. Finally, what you're going to need are four amethyst points and four clear quartz points. Um, you can use anywhere up to eight of each type of point. Amethyst points are, are amazing because they help calm an anxious mind. They're great for bringing tranquility. They're, they're excellent for helping us overcome insomnia, have nice dreams. It's very peaceful and healing. And clear quartz is a very cleansing stone. So it helps us release anything that we're holding on to physically, energetically, and spiritually that may be hindering our peaceful night's sleep, such as stressful thoughts, um, any negative energy from the day, um, or anything else that might be impacting our ability to have a beautiful, restful night's sleep. Now, the first stone we place in any crystal body layout is the Earth Star Chakra Stone. So we can go ahead and pop that smoky quartz either just below the feet or between the ankles, and this will honor the Earth Star Chakra and it will establish immediate grounding for the healing session. The next stone we're going to place is the Crown Chakra Stone, which is located at the top of the head and it radiates out. So we can place the Selenite Stone um, just above the top of the head, um, and it's actually going towards the higher crown or the Soul Star Chakra, which is located um, six inches above the top of the head. So anywhere between the top of the head and six inches above is gonna be a great place to place your Selenite. Next, we're going to place the moonstone at the crown chakra. So we'll go ahead and place that at the top of and center of the forehead, and then sodalite just below it at the third eye chakra, which we can feel between the eyebrows, but it is located at um, the pineal gland, which is in the center and back of the brain, but it does radiate out through the um, forehead and can be felt through the eyebrows. So that's where we're going to place the sodalite stone. And the last thing we are going to do is place our points around the top of the head. Now this is a really important step because we want to ensure that the clear quartz points are pointing away from the top of the head. So I'm just going to place two stones, sorry, three, three quartz points around each side of the head towards the center and they're all pointing outwards. And then I'm going to place four amethyst points in total in between um, 
I'm placing my amethyst in between each quartz point and that is going to be pointing in towards the head. So just to clarify, the quartz points are placed around the top of the head pointing outwards and the amethyst points are placed in between each quartz but they're pointing inwards towards the head. And the reason that we do that I will explain shortly. So once we've got all our stones in place, we can go ahead and set the intention for the healing by holding our hands over the stones and just sending that intention into our client or partner that they let go of any stress, any tension, any, any um, negative energy or anything that's holding them back from experiencing a really restorative night's sleep. And we send the intention into them that they can surrender themselves and experience a beautiful, restful and peaceful sleep from here on in. And we can do that over each chakra point. All right, so now we can go ahead and work with our hands or crystal wands or a pendulum to start moving the energy throughout the layout with more intention. The majority of the work for this particular layout is going to be focused on and around the head area. And I'm going to be working with two wands to do this. I've got a natural amethyst point or a shard here, and I've also got a clear quartz Lemurian wand here. The reason why I'm working with these two is I'm choosing the crystal type that's going to best serve the purposes of this healing. So amethyst being one of the main stones that we can work with for sleep and um, calmness and uh, releasing any stress and clear quartz being a very healing stone and a great stone for channeling energy. The way I'm going to be working here is holding the amethyst point in towards the top of my mannequin my client's head and that's going to be channeling peaceful energy in through the top of the head through the crown chakra and then i'll work with my um, clear quartz point to be directing all the energy in the layout so to start with what i'm going to do <clears throat> is just activate the third eye and the crown chakras and i'm going to do this by spiraling my clear quartz wand in a clockwise direction over each chakra and this is just sending healing energy into these areas. It's activating them, stimulating them, getting ready for the healing. Like this. And then what I'm going to be doing in this layout is working with the clear quartz points initially to draw any stress and tension out of the head. And I'm going to be doing this by holding my wands in towards the third eye and crown chakra stones in towards the brain and the mind and I'm going to pull out any negative thoughts, any stress and pull them out along the clear quartz points because the clear quartz points are there to help cleanse and carry the energy outwards. So I'm really focusing all of my energy on visualising any thoughts about stress, tension, work, um, any worry, phobia, fear, just drawing all of that out of the mind. So before we calm and fill the mind with positive healing energy, we need to empty it of all of that stress first and create space for all the good energy to replace it. Like this. You can use your wands and spiral them in a counterclockwise or anti-clockwise direction and then pull it back out again along those clear quartz points and keep in mind crystal healing is just as much about your intention as anything else so you really need to be present in this process and you need to be visualizing everything it is that you're doing the next step, once we've used those quartz points to channel the um, stress and tension and unwanted energy out of the mind, the next thing we can do is use the amethyst quartz points, which are pointing in towards the mind, to draw all of that peaceful healing energy in. And just integrate it into the third eye and the crown chakras. And we all love amethyst. We know how beautifully peaceful that amethyst energy is. So we're, all we're doing is just pulling that directly from the stone into the mind. 
Now, because this is a layout for sleep, it's a great idea to perform this as close to bedtime as possible. So if you're working in a professional setting, then perhaps book this client as your last client for the day, so it's towards the evening time. If you're doing this on yourself, then you can place the stones on your forehead and you can place amethyst um, and quartz points under your pillow if you don't want them to roll around and move. Just place them beautifully in arrangement under your pillow, then place your pillow on top and then you can rest your head on top of your pillow. It also helps to have quite a dimly lit room for this because we want the person experiencing this layout to just sink into that really near sleep state or if, if possible we want them to fall asleep during the session to really absorb all of that restful energy. So there is a few different ways that you can enhance this um, and you can also use some uh, relaxing oils like lavender uh, or any other oils that are going to help you or your client slip into a really blissful sleep. Thanks for watching. If you'd love to learn more about the crystal healing body layouts that I've worked with in my 14 year career, then please check out my book, Rock On, The Crystal Healing Handbook for Spiritual Rebels. Also, if you're struggling to find a reputable supplier or really good quality healing stones to do this work with, then I've got a dedicated online crystal shop called Evolve Crystals. That's evolvecrystals.net. And in that shop, I sell all the stones that I've worked with over my career and that you see me work with in these videos. So I've got everything from these amazing natural amethyst wands, right through to um, super stones for placing on the body and these very, very hard to get Lemurian quartz points like this, which featured in this body layout that you saw. They're basically teeny tiny versions of the large Lemurian quartz ones that I work with in the body layouts. So check it out and pop any questions that you have in the comments below. Thanks for watching.